what is up what is good good people so I wanted to talk a little bit about the idea the concept of hunger what is it Florence and the machine we all have a hunger for most people if you're going to associate that word with eating consumption more going towards the compulsive nature uncontrollable compulsion And this is one of the many benefits that you will experience for yourself whenever you decide to engage in fasting. You redefine what that word means to you. You begin to see it for what it is and uh, move past the feelings, the hunger pains or the pains <coughs> that you once associated with, that you once gave into. <coughs> because of the misconception that you were hungry for food, for fill in the blank. But more and more, the more we refine, the more we redefine our scripts, our reality, we come to find that We become hungry for something else. We become hungry for knowledge, for experience, for direct experience. We become hungry for gnosis. And that kind of hunger will make uh, any other kind of hunger fade away. As the illusion that it is and so we will begin to feed that part of ourselves that is hungry for wisdom that is hungry for truth And for a lot of us, like that's where our journey is going to begin. Like, we may go through a lot of fucking crazy stuff and, and amazing experiences, hardships, especially, up until the point where we begin to redefine that word hunger and experience different levels of hunger and become hungry for different things, different experiences. And then we will begin to realize not just all the lies, but what's really inside, what really brings us to life. Experience for yourself. A different level of beingness, of understanding through inner standing. Empty your cup first. Feel that deep hunger for gnosis, 
and then without even trying through allowing your cup will be filled with truth awareness love the essence of life so yeah I encourage everyone to experience this for themselves. The truth is in the pudding and you are the pudding. So experience it. Peace.